as you start making the transition to developing with asynchronous patterns, there are some things you need to be on the lookout for. Some of the common ones I encounter often are the following. One of the most dangerous ones is the introduction of a synchronous function inside an asynchronous one. An example we just saw was using the synchronous time.sleep function inside of the synchronous cook function. Using the regular sleep library would have blocked our whole code. Go ahead and try it. So let's open the chorus file again. And then let's add the time.sleep instead of the async you sleep in line 13. Save the file. Now when we try to, to run chorus py, we'll get the following error. This error seems very strange at first. What's actually happening here is that time.sleep is not an awaitable object, and thus it returns none back to the caller so you get the exception after 8 seconds and not immediately. On the other hand, the asyncio.sleep is a coroutine itself, which means it returns an awaitable or coroutine object that then can be bookmarked by the loop so that it can go ahead and pick up all the requests until the sleep is done. This time we got lucky. The danger of the synchronous or blocking functions is that sometimes they block our code silently and we don't see any visible errors because they're not bubbled up to the caller. So always remember that if you're inside a coroutine and calling an external function, that that function needs to also be a coroutine. First, let's undo the time.sleep code back to async you asleep and then change the second code call on chorus py, taking out the await. Save the file, and now if you try to execute this code, you will see the following error. Coroutine cook was never awaited. Whenever you see this error, you know there was a coroutine that wasn't awaited. Sometimes it's not that clear cut and you may need to do some digging. Another pitfall is that we complete our coroutine while an inner coroutine is still executing. What happens to the result of that inner coroutine? we might get an error when Python does its garbage collection. For example, let's create a new file and we'll call this neverawaited.py. So we'll import a sync IO and I'm gonna define a main coroutine and that main coroutine is gonna create a task. And that task is another coroutine we're going to call executed. And here we'll do like an async IO sleep of 15 seconds. And then it'll say print I am executed. So we'll call executed from here. And finally we'll do an async IO dot run main. Now what's happening here, as you can see, we're creating this main coroutine. It creates this task, which is another coroutine, but we'll, we're never running it. We're never awaiting for it. So let's see what happens when we run this code. So let's bring this a little bit here and then do Python 3 never awaited. As you can see, we get runtime warning coroutine sleep was never awaited. What happens here is that the main coroutine is executed, but since the task inside is never awaited, the execution ends and the executed coroutine never has a chance to surface. So the way to fix this would be to await the async IO sleep function, call this task one, and then await task one to complete. So now it's running uh, perfectly fine. So now you know if you see a not consumed error, you know what to look for in your code. Again, these issues become easier to deal with once you practice coding with asynchronous patterns. 
So don't be afraid and just jump into the water. The benefits far outweigh the pitfalls.